samples tonight. I lived in Burlington, Vermont, and, and uh, Sean did too. And we played together acoustically there a lot at this place called The Chic. I moved randomly <laughs> to uh, Boulder, just out of, pretty much out of the blue, like in a day's notice. I was just sick of the 30 below and six feet of snow, and I couldn't open my front door. So I just took my car out here and got a place. And uh, like a month later, I got a call from Sean, and it sounded like he was really close. And he's like, want to start a band? <laughs> Except he had to play bass. He used to be a guitar player. No one wanted to play bass. So we started looking for other people, put an ad up on the bulletin board in the student center uh, at the university, and uh, Jeep answered it. <laughs> and we were playing at a party at uh, 14th and Euclid, and Al, I guess, was at the party. Rare, it's really rare to see Al at a party, but I guess he was out that night. Yeah. He, he saw us play, and he's a keyboard died. player, and we didn't have keyboards, and he, he heard keyboards in the music. going to King Supers one day to eat our lunch as usual, the, the free food samples like sausage and donuts on a toothpick. And Charles said, hey man, that'd be a good name. And so that was our name. I guess that's that. Okay, we're trying to get in right now. Ted can't seem to, Ted's our manager, he can't get us in the goddamn club. Samples. The samples. We bring rain and chaos to every place, especially with our sound man. He chain smokes and like runs around naked and eats Twizzlers. Yeah, Twizzlers and ding Goobers. <laughs> Turns our bus into a traveling Petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> people that don't even like music into music. Like, we get them to like music. They're the yeah. kind of people that don't listen to anything but us. The whole way the band grew was, was through people who were into our music, you know, our fans. They would, like, bring tapes on to their friends and, and circulate tapes around the country, and we just sort of kept expanding on that. And as we kept making, you know, we'd make more music and play tunes, we always kind of just geared all our energy towards our fans. I'm in charge of fan mail. We got a stack of letters. This is just Thursday and Fridays. Um, mail one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
Got 11 letters in two days. Dear Samples, hi, remember me? I was the lad who wrote a letter on the back of my resume to you from Kenny Bunkport. I also filled you in on how influential your music was and still is to my girlfriend and myself this past summer. Dear Gents, first of all, I'm a big fan of your style. Jeep, you're a hell of a drummer. What can I say? biggest thrill is definitely playing live and we like to play for a long time live. I think you know 99.9% .9 of the time we're definitely putting all our energy into our shows and I think that alone is probably I mean that's what I'd like to see when I when I go to a concert. That break was a big mistake. The break was a big mistake though. You might want to get an idea of how we do financially. Oh geez. The money can help, you know, if, if there's money involved, but it's never come up in any of our minds to, even that you could make money. I mean, I, this story comes up a lot, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a dishwasher, I, I worked in a chicken farm, I've done, personally, a lot of things when I quit high school when I was younger. And so, basically, I, I just take it as I've got nothing to lose. Scream money at the same time. Money, one, two, three, appear. Damn. Last time it was 20s. It's not like things are handed to us, but when things come to us, we feel like we've earned them. So in a way, it's, really it's a better appreciate reward. It. We toured our last two tours in one of those. No, but now we have a bus, and it's really appreciated, you know? It's, it's cool. It's not like, you know, we just went from whatever to a bus. We, I, can, I know I can appreciate it completely. Just play the darn thing. In the lawns of the housing, all the children play. I like that one. Let's keep that. We've been in the studio for about eight hours now, and the guys are going a little crazy. Let's go see what they're doing. Hey, guys, what are you up to? See, what we're doing right now is we're trying to figure out the right amount of space in between songs. The, the whole idea behind what I'm doing is trying to better the song because Pain's just kind of, an, it almost got axed from the whole project.
album number three. Let's just take it from the top. The other side is our schizophrenic side that, and, that we pretty much just live out when we're not on stage. I ended up getting a camera last Christmas and uh, we just I brought it out to Colorado and it's gonna get us in trouble one day. <laughs> we just started making these random skits because we, we always like act out skits just just in our free time and like when we sometimes when we meet people who come to our shows and they'll ask us questions we'll totally like steer them in a weird direction. Excuse me. Yeah. Any of you fellas uh, know where to buy a good pogo stick around here? Pogo stick, you know? Where's yeah, that? I know, I know. Hey, is that your bus, man? Uh, sorry, no, we work for the state. When we set our instruments down, we like jump into our sitcom characters or something. Yeah. Just, I mean, I don't know, we just act It's out. for our own sanity, really. I don't think that would things. ever make it to anyone's. Yeah, we're really wacky. Abort, abort, listen. Jesus Christ, what's going on? It's shaking, it's breaking up. Come on, O'Leary! Give me your hand. I'm going. Oh! Silly button, stay right there. Don't move. Martin and Martin always get their men. Buttons, no! Fat Captain, Fat Captain, we hit the storm. I think there's a star. <laughs> I definitely like traveling. If I wasn't in a band, I'd be traveling anyway, I think, regardless, in, in some manner. I like seeing new places. I like playing in front of different people. Nightly, it makes it just makes it fresh. our initial uh, presentation of Monday Night Live. And I want to ask, ask you guys a couple questions, if I may. You are out touring right now. Where'd you come from? We just came from uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee. OK. How, how was it? Scary. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something spooky about that place. All right, well, the sample is welcome to St. Cloud and a sound alternative. 
Thanks for joining KVSC tonight and uh, St. Cloud. Welcome to St. Louis. We're in a cave. <laughs> okay, this is a quiet song. Touring's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, it's fun. Good. Touring's good for me just because it's I get to bang on my drums every night. Yeah. Get a little, get a work. It's a travel. Day. It took me a while to get. First, I was really into it. Then I got really sick of it. Pedal's broke, and I'm trying to do a song on the air, and uh, it's making it very difficult. We tend to look like a very serious band. Of course, when we play, we don't smile. All our songs are definitely serious, except for maybe one, which Vince sings. Oh, little well, won't you come out and play? We could definitely come across uh, comical musically if we wanted to. We could definitely make an album with just all funny stuff, and we have on four tracks and stuff, but uh, we definitely have that serious side. I don't know how we could really get it out in a full view that we're, we really don't mean any of it. I don't know how the hell we've done it, but we're still fucking nine-year-old kids. Peter and, Pan syndrome. And when you start getting caught up in the rock and roll thing, and not to say we wound at some point, because it could be fun, you know, I don't know, we're still exploring it. But we mock it. It's real childlike, I think. I think little kids will tune into our music more than anybody else. I, I, that's my prediction. Jack. Meeting fans every night is it's just a little bit of a reassuring information that you get every night to, to know that uh, you're, you know, you're doing something productive or you're doing something right. It's your duty to you know, hang as best as you can you know, and support them as much as they support you and let them know that you really appreciate it because without them, man, I'm still doing dishes. playing bigger places and start playing more all ages shows but um in terms of in terms of long range goals I, I don't think we really think that far in the future because no. i think if we did we'd get really stressed out and it would almost put too much pressure on the moment did you ever learn so all the way up to here. So the more you guys want to just follow him, it's like when I say action, on we go, okay, action, go.
I think that our band has been slowly going up the beginning of a roller coaster. I really honestly do, and I think at some point it's going to be really enjoyable because we've, you know, been working really hard to get to that point where it's going to be very real when you hit the point and it just zips down, and we'll see where it goes. You know, I think the the higher, the longer it takes to get up, the longer the ride, and for us it's taken a long, but it's been good. It's been a long ride up. It's been a long ride up. Let's see, it's supposed to be that way because we want it to be a long ride down. enough definitely if you knew what it was like to play music and to have an audience like this is just really really nice and uh, we'd like to quickly thank uh, our all of our crew and Ted and everyone who helped set up our stuff every day and Rusty and Dowlin Sound and Jay thank you you guys when the day is done I hope they're still the same I hope that nothing's changed with you When the day is done There's something in your eyes Have they seen too many lies come true? When the day is done When the day is done The day is done, a secret I can keep, keep a 
promise I have to with you. Oh, 